Oh, right, all right, all right. It is time for ICAST, your freaking awesome replays. And we had a bit of a different challenge this week. It was pretend proxy. Where players had to build a proxy purely with mind games in mind. It was build a proxy and then don't actually make use of it. So find some way to show something out there on the map hidden or to hide your tech in some sneaky way and then simply kind of go to the next stage and not actually commit to it. Um, it was a little bit different. I have no idea how players are going to have played this challenge, but I am really looking forward to checking out exactly what strange strategies they have in store. Up here in the top right, representing THC420, someone who might just be a little bit of a fan of marrying their one and true love, Joanna, it is Hypnotoad. No Toad and Joanna go way back. Down here in the bottom left, already clearly the player doing the challenge, representing Falpal. There's Alchemy. So, Alchemy's like, yo, just gonna proxy my buildings over here and do a normal build, and this is gonna freak the opponent out. So perfect, this is exactly what we were looking for with this challenge. Meanwhile, a gateway and a forge. But Hypnotoad is already like three probes down for no reason. Hasn't dropped a chrono boost. I think this may be a player who plays Definitely. I mean, the, 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 the clan tag gives us a tip. I think all of their play may in fact be an homage to Joanna. They may really want to marry Joanna. Um, yeah, get that THC going. And, and what does that, what says that more than cannons and zealots? Honestly, this is a very Florencio style opening. I'm, I don't have confirmation, but I'm reasonably certain Florencio is completely lit every time he's on the ladder. Um, I just get that that feeling, that sort of air, you know, the sort of breath of fucking fumes and uh, and, and vapes that you, you kind of get with a certain sort of player. Hypnotoad's not even going to commit. Hypnotoad's like, oh shit, you're proxying me. Builds a cannon at home and fully walls in. <laughs> Hypnotoad is actually so afraid right now. He claws and kicks, but gets his head oh, this is good. Into the highway. This is a Thank standard you, opening. It's two gate stalker, so and Hypnotoad is trying to cannon to contain in the main, and the stalkers will be able to just walk up behind and depower this. <laughs> uh, hey, duck of death. Thank you so much for the support, mate. Did, did the probe die? Okay, looks like the probe ran into the cannon and did end up going down there. But, oh, this is hilarious. Hypnotoad is so freaked out right now. This probe's going to come down and be like, whoa, oh, you're trying to cannon me? Are those stalkers going to come back and fight it? Whoa, don't just stand there. Alchemy. Alchemy, no. Oh, this probe. Oh, my God. Oh, what a daredevil. These fucking Marty McFly probe trying, playing chicken with the cannon there. All right, these stalkers should be able to... Oh, no, that's... that's you got to come around here, buddy. Okay. Barely out of range of the cannon. <laughs> Another pylon's going to go up, but this is going to cost Hypnotoad a lot of money. And he's going to try to build the pylons on that side. What would be great is if these stalkers get recalled and then they attack it from up there. How sick would that be? Please, Alchemy. Make me the happiest caster in the world. Oh, no. Nope, no, nope, Not like Alchemy. Oh, my God. Finds another angle. <laughs> Hypnotoad, stop. <laughs> this ain't working, buddy. <laughs> Hypnotoad is expanding behind it. But it's only on 18 probes. Oh my god, full energy on the Nexus. You got a chrono probes. There's no way this is gonna gonna get that much done. The shield battery's already almost out of juice. There will be two cannons on the high ground. I don't think they're in range of the robo though, so Hypnotoad is gonna need to get some cannons here and try to stop that coming out. Oh no, the stalkers have busted it. Oh, run up the ramp, get the other cannons. Alchemy, I think, might also be a little bit lit right now. Is uh not gonna take out those cannons before they go down. Hypnotoad's gonna go for a gateway on the front. Oh my lord. Um, shield battery goes down, but, oh, they are both in range of the robo, actually. I, apparently I'm blind. I was like, they're slightly out of range. No, they're not. They're clearly in range. What the hell, pig? <laughs> I think that immortal should barely get out. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this, not like this, not like this, not like this. Okay, it's, it, it, it should be fine. It should be fine. Okay, the immortal does pop. The robo's gonna go down, though, which sucks. And meanwhile, four stalkers looking to do a counterattack, but two cannons, more than a match, man. Nicely done. Actually, can they fight from there and fight just one cannon at a time? They might be able to. Hypnotoad thinking about reinforcing the wall at home. Meanwhile, this immortal here doing a bit of interesting micro. If he comes around, actually, I mean, you can just overcharge the battery and just headbutt and take on the, the cannons front on. Uh, once again, another Marty McFly fucking probe there playing chicken. 
And, um... Why do I keep calling it Marty McFly? I'm getting my movies confused. What was the movie where they play chicken with the cars? That wasn't Back to the Future. Did that... I can't even remember. My brain's a little bit addled this morning. Um, I'm getting all my 80s films confused. Was that... Was that Back to the Future? Chat can fact check me on this one. Uh, Jamie. Bring that one up, please. Uh, uh oh Adept. Adept, adept, adept. Okay. Shield battery's pretty good, though. Oh, he's attacking his own probe. Alchemy, no. Alchemy. <laughs> Alchemy, stop it. Alchemy just got rid of all of the energy on the shield battery. Is now recalling. This Adept still hasn't killed anything because it's not focus fire. The Immortal's doing good, though, and it can take on these cannons. There's a Stargate there. Hypno Toad is about as drunk as you possibly could be trying to commit to this one inside the main base. But the Immortal Battery is good, even without Overcharge, on the Shield Battery. I think Hypnotoad may have gone a little bit too deep here. <laughs> Why was there a Nexus? Why would you build a Nexus and two gases if you're going to sit on 18 workers? Hypnotoad's so broke, it doesn't, has been on like 10 workers on minerals this whole time. Hypnotoad. Oof. Alchemy. With the tricky fake proxy here. I do love how Hypnotoad initially was worried about the proxy, walled in with cannons, but then still went back to both trying to expand and cannon into the main of the opponent and build void rays there without having any idea what was happening on this side of the map. Um, would have been especially incredible if an oracle was being proxied and it just flew in the main and killed all of his workers. But I guess seeing no gateway, you're thinking about zealots, you're thinking about stalker rushes. So you are just more worried about that one directional attack on the front, which kind of makes sense. Hypnotoad is now making a Zealot, chronoing warp gate in plus one. Still is not building probes. Let's check the control groups. Is this fucking Florencio's account? One Nexus is the only thing that's control grouped here. Hasn't set a rally point on the natural Nexus yet. I don't think it's built a single probe out of it. It's trying to make charge and extra gateways right now, but holy fuck lord. It is insane how high on the ladder some people with cannon rush can get, right? <laughs> This is insane. <laughs> Last Action Hero. That's the name of the movie. Thank you, guys. What was the name of the character from that? Last Action Hero, man. I forgot about that movie. That movie was insane. Rad the Reptile and a few others. That's that's the movie I'm thinking of. What was the main character's name in that? What was the name of the main character? The, 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 the kid in that? Dude, I gotta rewatch that movie. I, I feel like it would probably be so bad, but I loved it so much as a kid. Last Action Hero. Thought that was the funniest. Uh, this this is now getting chrono boosted. This base, by the way, this is like, you're almost like, please drop me, right? You've got four shield batteries in the main at this point. Gas is going down on the natural. You've got your own gateways. You're gonna make Blink. Okay, so it's gonna be Blink Stalkers versus Charge Zealots. Charge Zealots beat Blink Stalkers cost for cost. But if you have enough Blink Stalkers, then there is a giant economy advantage. By the way, he still has not figured out how to build a single probe. Did figure out how to set the rally point and control group the natural nexus. Has completely pulled off gas and is just going to try to make 5 gate charge zealot plus 1 and then is just going to attack across the map. Now what's going to be really great is all the zealots are being made on the outside of the wall and alchemy is going to go and elevate onto the inside. <laughs> Hypnoto needs to recall the zealots. They can't get back here. Okay, they're going to go across the map. <laughs> uh oh, if these pylons go down, we've got um, Tasteless Artosis and Moltrap over here. Wait, what? Moltrap? Um, definitely not Caldor or Wolf. It could be No Regret, actually. That's a No Regret pylon. But they're gonna- oh, he's gonna recall and fight! Recalling onto Zealots, not the best idea. Um, oh my god, guys. I told you Zealots beat Stalkers for cost for cost. They also beat Stalkers when the Stalkers recall into a surround. Has Alchemy just managed to throw this game? Or is Alchemy just gonna win with Shield Batteries? Oh my god, didn't overcharge in time. Block the Immortal there. Oh my god, the probes need to mineral walk out. Okay, so the probes are gonna run back to the main. I guess the shield batteries might keep you alive, but if you lose your production, you'd actually be in trouble as well. Meanwhile, one stalker chilling in the main. That's going to get taken out. Um, Alchemy? You need to make more units right now, buddy. Alchemy may have screwed the pooch, guys. For those who don't know, a pooch is a type of small dog. Um, there's multiple meanings to screw, none of which you'd want to do to a cute dog. Once again, we go back to etymology and say, whoever came up with that one's a psychopath. 
Um, there's either some, some real sick animal cruelty going on. Well, it's animal cruelty either way. But uh, anyway, stalkers are going to try to keep microing back to the ramp. You cannot lose your production. Now, is Hypnotoad going to find that? If Hypnotoad finds the production, I do think Alchemy is in trubs. Uh, you got to run, dude. Um, oh, the Stalkers run into a corner and actually kind of corner themselves. The Zealots are going to try to fight up there, but I do think Shield Batteries will do okay. Oh, we're blinking onto the Zealots now? Oh, no. Alchemy's micro here. Uh, what do we do? We get to the Shield. Alchemy. I think screwing the Stalker is a better way to describe what Alchemy's control is doing in this game, guys. It's not screwing the Pooch, it's screwing the Stalker. And, um, yeah, it's screwing it in deep and tight right now. And this Zealot, by the way, trying to kill a probe, doesn't really get any. Alchemy's still at 21 probes, but with no Nexus mining and this base mining out, is going to try to go DTs. Meanwhile, of course, Hypnotoad says, still haven't figured out how to build workers. Got me unit stuck behind my wall. Still confused at how to get out. These zealots were all inside of each other. Oh, he's figured it out. He's going to go Phoenixes. Still no pro production. Hypnotoad. Just Phoenixes. Why not? Okay, and we're going to go out again just as another drop comes in. Is that... We're going to make plus two attack on 24 workers. That's the priority, is it, Hypnotoad? Hypnotoad! What are you doing, man? <laughs> all right, well, there's no way to keep the prism alive. Um, at the same time, Zealots will ruin Immortals as well. Alchemy's kind of flying around here. Isn't really sh Wait, did you just- Oh, he recalls the prison without the Immortals? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. The Immortal drop kills literally nothing. And there's more Zealots here, man. Dude, Alchemy's in, in massive trouble right now. Hypnotoad still has not found the production. That's the only thing going for Alchemy. He's, well, I guess Alchemy's making DTs. But I mean, Hypnotoad can easily just like go home, build a robo. The question is, does Hypnotoad know what invisible units are? And does he recognize? You can see Alchemy here doing some nice F2. Um, unable to micro the stalkers and DTs independently. And oh no. Screwing the stalkers one more time. The DT is doing their work, but why are the stalkers even part of this fight? I do not know. Oh no. Alchemy, blink over. Blink behind the DTs. <laughs> okay, cleans up the zealots. Let's go. Robo and cannon on the way. I mean, you've got a natural lock. How do you lose this game? It's hypnotized, right? Do you really need two more gates when you still have no economy? There's going to be plus two versus plus nothing. You're going to have observers. Uh, if Hypnotoad just, like, takes a third and builds some probes, like, there's, there's almost no minerals left. As Alchemy, you're screwed, surely, here, right? The DT is going to try and DT drop through a player who has a Phoenix out. Ooh, the Phoenix is looking for it as well. This Phoenix is like, where you at, dickhead? I know you're going to try and drop those fucking ninjas in my base. Are we going to... We've got one cannon literally in the production, by the way. It's inside the production, a cannon there. We've got two cannons at the front. An Observer's starting up. I mean, surely there's no way to... And we're going to make a Fleet Beacon. Doesn't have any gas bank. Isn't mining these gases. Still on 24 probes. Did Hip is Hypno Butler just like, I think I'm winning. Let's just like fucking light a fat blunt. Like, what, do what are we doing here? What, what is this? He's going to go out to take a third now. Are we? No, no, no. We're going to we're going to take a corner base. Of course, a corner base is the next choice of Hypno Toad here. <laughs> DTs come in. They kill one probe. And then all of them die in the prism. Please no. Please no. Please no. Please no. Okay, they do get out, but... The Chad's here, as is the Phoenix. Those DTs need to get out of dodge, man. Chadakiss chases them. The Observer, though, doesn't chase. And uh, I think, honestly, Alchemy's got to be dead. I keep saying it, and I, I truly do believe it. Like, I know it's probably Alchemy you sent in the replay with the buildings built over here and stuff. But, like, I mean, Archons are good units for Zealots. Like, they're not good enough, though, surely. Unless your opponent's stupid enough to fight into Archons at four shield batteries with overcharge. Surely not. I say it and I'm like, this is not, no. No, Hypnotoad, there is, no, don't do that. How have you still not found the production? All the probes are sneaking out to this base. He's taken a corner base, still has not probed up at all. I was like, I've got a fleet beacon though, it's all good. Still hasn't put on gas. Transferring workers out of the main. It's built three more probes. Oh my God, the Phoenix is gonna scout it. This is a huge problem. Can't protect that, right? There's an observer in here. And 
I mean, what are you going to do? Come down with four Archons? They're going to get the shit kicked out of them by plus two Charge Zealots. Hypnotoad is going to take out all the production. Okay, I think Hypnotoad is finally going to win this game. <laughs> Alchemy was so far ahead and chose to recall into the Charge Zealots, unfortunately. Lost the whole army and lost the big economy lead that they built so well. The Archons now coming in, unable to contest. It's just too many Zealots. Too many Zealots with plus two, and it looks like Alchemy here. The start works so well. But, as always, players trying to use Blink Stalkers when they could have just made the A move unit. Hypnotoad, I think with a higher understanding of which unit packs more of a punch when you're too busy smoking rather than actually paying attention to your keyboard. And let's be real, guys. Let's be real. Blink Stalkers are one of the trickiest units in the game. And uh, unfortunately, Alchemy did go deep and decided to screw the shit out of his Stalkers multiple times. With no way of taking down... Actually, there is there is Observers there. So if there had been production and an ability to snipe the enemy Observer, I'd say there's a chance here. But as it is, it looks like Hypnotoad, baked as fuck, is going to A-move some Zealots to the, for the win. And that's it, man. Zealots are a good A-move unit, dude. Stalkers are absolutely not. They are very fragile. You need to protect their fragile uh, constitution. Whereas Zealots just go out and fuck. Like, Zealots, you know, they're the Chad Protoss basic unit. You, you throw them out into the world, and you know they're going to land, maybe not on their feet, but probably inside of another Zealot, you know? They're, they're going to get out there and bang the world, you know? Uh, life's, life's a garden impregnated. That's, that's kind of the Zealots' motto. Stalkers, on the other hand, are a bit more sensitive. They want to hide from the shadows. They want to blink around. They want to avoid confrontation. They want to just rain down lasers from afar rather than standing their ground. I think it's it's just, you know, different approaches to life, really. The zealots want to spread their, spread their seed. Stalkers literally will fucking have a panic, panic attack if you make eye contact with them for more than three seconds. Uh, fucking trip over and have a bit of a cry. Uh, 35 probes for Hypnotoad, 4 for Alchemy. Alchemy's still staying in the game. And I think it's, it's finally saying, please attack into my shield batteries. I think we're going to fast forward this one, guys. I think it's over. What are we doing? By the way, there's a carrier building right now. And just casually supply blocked on 35 probes, building one carrier at a time. Hypnotoad is fucking loving it right now. I was like, yeah, man, just uh, playing my game. Building one Tempest and a Mothership now as well. Okay, Hypnotoad, what, what is this? Remember, it's not about winning the strategy game. It's about trying to slowly kill their units. Um, okay, that, that one got very weird. Can we just do a little quick rewind? Just to rehash how well that opening went and how hilarious that situation was. Because this really looked like Alchemy was way ahead. Hit the macro, defended well, got the Nexus, went for this cool little counter pressure. And then we see the divergence point, where Alchemy was like, I watch Parting Stream, I'm gonna make a warp prison, and also Blink Stalkers. And I was like, oh no! Meanwhile, Hypnotoad was like, I watch Florencio. <laughs> Smears some shit on his forehead. You know, he knows he's down and out in this game. 24 pros versus 36. He's got like half the army supply. So what does he do? He's, he channels his Arnold Schwarzenegger from Predator. He smears shit on his face to give him camouflage. He, he sits down low in the sewer juice with just his fucking head barely poking out and then waits for the, for the virgin stalkers to overcommit. And look at that. The stalkers go in and this is when he pounces. And he says, what you don't realize is these zealots are that fucking log trap. You know that log trap that fucked the predator up? You guys know what I'm talking about. So Alchemy's like, look, I'm killing your production. Doop -de -doop -de -doop. But then he's like, oh, oh, what's this? I should definitely recall into it. And we see here the most brilliant maneuver of the entire game where the Predator finds out that in fact he's a virgin stalker and Arnold Schwarzenegger is ripping his limbs off. Ah, GG, well played. Hypnotoad there, bringing it back from behind. Hats off to Alchemy, who I assume is the one who actually sent that replay in. Either way, GG, well played, mate, and hope you get your replays in a future week. Hypnotoad and Alchemy both playing a splendidly unique game. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. Smash the like and subscribe button. Links are down below in the description. We'll see you next time. Goodbye and good night.